All righty, here with Devon Diablo. Devon, how you guys feeling heading into week two at Baltimore? Oh, we're feeling good, feeling um, ready to go. Uh, we came to practice today, and uh, that's all we can ask for. 100%. Now, obviously, without going into too much detail, uh, what are some areas that you guys are looking to improve in heading into Baltimore? Obviously, defensively, the run game, uh, we let two slip or a couple runs slip out last game, and uh, we just got to fix those mistakes. Now, in terms of, uh, you know, how the defense played last week, you played well for pretty much three, three and a half quarters. How do you guys make sure you carry that into a full four quarters? Uh, we just got to be mentally disciplined. Uh, you know, we got to keep our offense in a position to win the game, and uh, we didn't do a good job of that last week. Hopefully, we change that this week. What are some things you feel like you guys can build on? I mean, again, you were successful for most of the game. What are some positives? Uh, positives, you know, we stopped the run game for the most part. Uh, pass game, I'd say we were in the right spots. Uh, we just got to keep it up all game. I think that's the biggest uh, step we need to make. Can you talk about your defensive backfield? They held, held Herbert to about 140 yards, I believe. How, how good did they play in your mind? Uh, they played amazing. They've been working so hard this offseason, and I think it paid off, and I think it's going to continue to pay off. And lastly, you and Robert had a great game as well. How does it feel, how does it feel playing or know, knowing that your brother next to you is playing a good game you guys are feeding off each other? Rob's a dog, man, and he makes my life easier, and I appreciate him. Unique challenges, obviously, does Lamar Jackson bring to, to as a player and linebacker in this league to go against them? Probably one of the most dynamic players in the game right now. You know, he's just like another guy you have to worry about on the field. Uh, all 11 have to worry about him, so he's got to be aware of him and just make sure we try to keep him in the pocket. A lot of times guys say, just just play my game. Like, I'm just going to play my game. But against him, like, it is a totally different than most quarterbacks. Oh, for right? sure, so for sure. Do you have to, do you have to play, like, play to his game when you're playing? Uh, I say respect him, play our game, but uh, make sure we're alert. That's all I have to say. Just be aware of him. Uh, you know, you always obviously you got to switch it up, but we got to play our game at the end of the day. Like, I'm, I'm, I know it's a hard question, but like if you're in coverage, right, and all of a sudden you're like, oh, what? He's running? Like, how do you? I guess how do you? How are, how are you supposed to maintain? Honestly, I, him I trust my D line to keep yeah. him in there. I trust my D line to keep him in there, so I ain't worried about it. Awesome. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. For sure. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.